Our next guest plays Felicity Smoke, the technology gifted, humorous, and super competitive member of CW's hit TV series Arrow, which just started its seventh season. Take a look at this clip from this week's episode. Back in town a week, and you're already sneaking out of Argus behind Papa Diggs back? I'm so proud. Thanks, man. Don't encourage her. And she's already moved on to espionage. Thanks for coming out, Renee. I know it's not the best time to be Wild Dog. What with the whole 25 to life thing? Wild Dog's not here? You see a hockey mask? Besides, this is exactly what we should have been doing in the first place instead of waiting for Diaz to come to us. The scan's complete. The Longbow Hunters aren't home. Damn. So we can't follow them back to Diaz if they're not here to be followed. We can go inside. Curtis, relax. I just want to put a couple trackers on a few things. Five minutes, tops. Are you familiar with the expression, famous last words? Grab your balls, Curtis, we're going in. Not balls, a tea spirit. Without it. Right, so guys, we're continuing we're to post still talking about food. conversation what right now. What do we do without it? Every day. What's your go-to order? Ramen. <laughs> I'm for food. Ramen, or like, so I live in Canada. It's okay. Cold. Of course it's cold. So like chicken noodle soup. Okay. Or ramen. Or Thai food. Yeah, like anything carbs mixed with like a hot like Any kind of noodle, apparently. Just like, no oh man, just like all the noodles. Faux girl, like. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, no. Oh, give it to me. Yeah, give I've it never more. had ramen before, so we're, <gasps> you're gonna have to tell me. I know. Another thing I can post to me. What are your friends no, doing you have with to, you? They've never they taken you for ramen. ramen. I'm oh old God. school. I'll go to the store and get a couple of oodles and noodles mm -hmm. every day, and that's okay, ramen that, for that me. Next time you go to New York, go to a Pudo. I haven't been there with that. It is the best ramen in New York City. Really? It's like, yes, it's right in Astor Place. Uputo, there's always like a line out the door, but go right when they open. It is the best ramen you will ever have. How do we Postmates that here? I don't My girl. My girl. See, now we're thinking. See? No, that's Uputo. what we're I'm thinking about, you, guys. Totally worth it. Emily's in the building with us. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, so and we digress. That, right, this episode. <laughs> we're back. Right, and we're Everybody. back. Guys, it's about Arrow. Uh, intense. Intense scene, yes. intense episode. So the longbow hunters are introduced, and they've caused a little That's bit of right. commotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, are they as dangerous as they appear? I think so, and plus there's three of them, right? There's multiple of them. So, mm -hmm. yes, I mean, strength in numbers, not to mention, like, completely uh, educated, tactical, close combat, violent human beings. Just, I can't think of what it is to prep for those, like, scenes and, like... like fight scenes? The fight scenes. They gotta be fun. How, yeah. many, how many hours go through, like, just practicing and stunt, is it stunt doubles or you're doing your own thing? Well, I wouldn't well, know kind of, as yeah. much because right. I just do this all day as it is. <laughs> and I'm practicing all day doing this, you know, just like MySpace, Nexopia. <laughs> Not MySpace. Oh my gosh, you're Come dating on. yourself just now. <laughs> I love There's it. There's gotta be like some MySpace users still out there. Do you that, feel like you could hack at this point? Like with, you, it's, it's like funny with people in like medical dramas. Like do you yeah. think you could kind of save a life? Like do you feel like you could get so, in there now with all the terminology? My dad stuff? is a surgeon and my mom and I loved Grey's Anatomy. And every time Grey's Anatomy was on, my dad would walk in the room and go, this is absolutely not accurate. <laughs> really? So no. We have to watch Grey's Anatomy answer. on tomorrow. I know, right? What's Ooh. not accurate that your dad used to talk about? He'd be like, this doesn't happen in real life. Like everything. He's like, the romance happens, but anything surgical is not known. <laughs> <laughs> and we know what's going on in the utility closet now. So your character is married to Oliver. He's in prison, and now he's forced to get his hands dirty while there to protect his family. Would Felicity have wanted him to take that route just for protection or no? Nah? Well, Felicity didn't want him to do it in the first place. She, you know, is sort of holding a, I, I wouldn't say grudge, but there's anger there for him making this decision and sort of like leaving their life and, mm -hmm. you know, using that decision alone. Um, with that being said... I wonder, I bet she would do the same thing if she was in prison. She'd fight for her life and her family in there. We have a Twitter question from you. Copy that. At Goth Felicities, That's right? right. <laughs> will we finally see her with her own company, Smoke Tech? When will Oliver and Felicity finally reunite? So it's a two-parter. Okay. Two-part question. I can mm -hmm. do that. Um, Smoke Tech has not come into play yet, but it has been referenced in the future. And they will be reunited in episodes to come okay. before okay. half the season is done. Okay, uh, so. A good little teaser. It is, it is. She's teasing, she can't give us everything. Um, of all of your Arrowcast members, we see that you and Colton Haynes, y'all seem to yeah. be <laughs> very good friends. <laughs> Um, oh it, man, look how young we are! His how character, happy you are. right? His uh, character returned. That was in Spain season. or London. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, nice place to go. Uh, he returned <laughs> this season, and people are suspecting that he will be the next fake Green Arrow. Is there any chance for that? Fake Green Arrow. <laughs> that's what it should be called. Um, that is a great prediction. It's hard, right? I get it. Everybody I wants mean, to know things. I mean, these leading questions are pretty much a trap. Like. 
doing an interview like this is just sort of like avoiding a trap. Like you guys are trapping me. I'm, I'm not trapping. <laughs> I'm just reading prompts. I like a trap. I'm a puppet. I'm like I'm a puppet. I'm, I'm a puppet. I'm reading the prompt right hey, now. Traps are fun. It's kind of like a maze. It's a game. <laughs> so we saw in that little vintage clip of you two. You guys get along. Vintage you said it's a long time ago. Vintage was, clip. You're in season seven. Ago. How is it having him back on set? Oh my gosh, it's such a blessing. Um, we haven't spent a whole lot of time together on set because our characters haven't really interacted quite yet, which is very sad in my mm. personal opinion. But yeah, having him come back is like having a family member that went on like a two-year trip and then comes home right. and we're like, thank goodness you're back. Right. Come back Aww. to us. Stay, stay home forever. Never leave. Never leave. Don't go anywhere. I'm locking you in. Who else is going to meet me at craft services? <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, yeah. Colton and I have a song called Donut Time, and that we sing Donut Time every time we have to go to craft service. Did you stay in touch with him when he was off the show? Absolutely. That's sweet. Okay. Uh, so taking it back to season one. Okay. You were originally supposed to be a one ep on one episode, and then you ended up becoming a Caesar. Talk about a get. That's a get. That's awesome. <laughs> Yo, if you're an actress, you're like, oh, okay, well, one reoccurring role. Okay, I got that. What? I'm gonna see you. Okay, this okay, is, this is great. That How did that happen? Um, well, I just went. Say you were just that damn good. Yeah, talent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I went in for I went in for an audition, and um, I was working at a dog apparel shop with my dog at the time, and oh. had to close the shop to go to the audition, and then um, rolled in the next day. I was like, put on hold, and then we went and shot, got the part. Went and shot the scene, and that was over. Went and got beards with my best friend, and a couple of weeks later, they were like, can you come back? And I was like, yeah. And then they kept asking me back. And I was like, oh, this is incredible. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> and and then... now it's not only this show, but you're in crossover heaven. There's just yeah. so many different crossovers with all of the CW families and sort of the Arrowverse there. Mm -hmm. Is it, do you ever get them mixed up? I mean, you have so <laughs> many storylines. <laughs> That's true, though. The idea of the crossovers is that when the storylines are happening, they're hopefully congruent, as they happen at the same time, that we had to figure out. Um, yeah, I mean, not it, it's confusing, but it's a blessing to get to work with a whole bunch of different actors. Of course. That's, like it, that's a dream. It's, it's so amazing. Okay, another question from Twitter right now. <laughs> I'm like, yo, as an actress, you're like, yo, that's like <laughs> lottery ticket. Forget <laughs> $1.6 billion. Um, as Oliver's Felicity tweeted, what can she tease about Felicity in the crossover? Are we going to get any Felicity Batwoman interaction? Uh, one can dream, everyone. One can dream. Um, I have yet to work with Ruby. Okay. Um, but I've, we've gotten hang, so that's great. Um, so excited. For her character so excited for her to be on the show um crossovers coming up things get intense we've seen some switches we've seen some swaps so excited to be on <laughs> on, on her show you were so excited for her to be on your show she's what? so she's uh, coming into the crossover so do her you think she's gonna yet. get a series think i, I mean i hope that, I, mean, I feel like action? that i feel like that's the like the the eluded plan okay, okay. like look at that i like sh that's pretty ruby that's amazing. ruby right what can you tease about her and, and hanging out where, like, a lot of people don't get to get to know her like that? So what was the hanging um, out like? That's true. I mean, she's, she's like, super cool and, like, really real and just, like, an all-around creative person. Awesome. That's, like, that's the only thing you can hope for in meeting a new person in general and yeah. above and beyond. Please don't be mean. Please don't be mean. <laughs> please, please don't be, be a awesome. diva. Please be awesome. Yeah, please be awesome. Please be awesome. <laughs> um, Arrow is mostly shot in Canada, where you're from, yes. and then it keeps you closer to your dog. Who you just mentioned. <laughs> True. Aww. So you bring him to work every day. <laughs> yeah, it's a girl. Is he, is, oh, she, her, is she, is she in, She's in the green room right now? I wish. You didn't bring her around here? No, I'm sorry. Game. She's We're up dog in friendly. Vancouver. Oh. She's on She's on one of the islands in Vancouver right now having a dogcation, so she's good. Oh, she's living the dream Oh, right yeah, now. she's fine. I'm the one hurting. Of, oh, she's as, chasing as deer always. and getting lost on the My island. My dog would hear that right now and say, yeah, you heard that, on an island. <laughs> Yeah, my mom. dog is at PetSmart doggy daycare right now. My, dog's, a, my dog's a doggy daycare too, and he's loving it. He's loving life. Yeah. No. Well, you know, they, you know, you just—they've never heard the word island before, and when they do. So, is he a cast member now? Is he going to get a reoccurring role anytime soon? I wish. I mean, we can try. <laughs> no dogs, you know, preferably in the warehouse. It's probably like a little dangerous than dark, and there's a lot of explosions, and she's quite. Um, sensitive. Okay. That dog. Okay. She's she's a nice therapy she's, dog after a she, fight. She's like a cat. She's very picky. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. We have another question <laughs> from Twitter for you. Never MJW thought. tweeted this article of The Hollywood Reporter's 50 favorite female characters, and she wrote, Emily, Felicity is iconic and Hollywood agrees. Why do you think she made this list? <clears throat> um, I think because, well, she. I think she was a, she, and she is a strong female independent and very authentic 
and she doesn't change really for anyone and is hopefully is honestly taking on her life as it comes. I like it. Is that a huge deal for you? Yeah, I mean, she she's a huge deal for me. She's been a huge part of my life. I mean, she helped raise me in my 20s, and she's just a really big part of my heart, and yeah. hopefully I'm a big part of hers. We'll never know. Well. <laughs> um, switching gears just a little sure. bit, you co-starred opposite of uh, Saoirse Ronan as Patty uh, in a scene stealer. She was a scene stealer in the film Brooklyn. What was that experience like? That was super fun. We shot in Montreal for a few weeks. Um, that was, oh man, that was such a great experience. We were down, I think it was like four years ago now, five even. Um, super cool, got to film in one of my, you know, childhood hometowns, really. I'm from Vancouver, my parents are from Montreal, so it was like a treat to go back there and then to work on such a beautiful creative set, period piece. Like, I didn't even know what was happening until years later. That's pretty awesome. Did you yeah. expect the response? You know, all of the awards buds and Oscar nominations. I mean, I never really think about it. You know, you kind of, you fall into or choose parts and choose story that you're attracted to and that just, you know, whatever comes from that is unpredictable. Same mm -hmm. thing with Felicity, like things are just unpredictable and you're kind of just moving towards story and art. So no, never think about that stuff. You have another film that you're starring in, The Clinic, which is a psychological oh, thriller. Yeah. Oh, what, that poster it's right creepy. there is so creepy. What can you tease us about The Clinic? Um, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen anything from it yet. I'm very excited to see like what it becomes. It was this like twisted psychological, um, yeah, creepy filmed in an abandoned orphanage in like SoCal, I think, if I have really? my directions right. Yeah, the place was like extremely twisted. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of like a it's sort of like a dreamscape psychological thriller. Wow. Okay, are we gonna be scared? Is it like a I hope so. I can't wait. Just you know, an abandoned love, orphanage scares me. I love stuff me. like that. Okay. Well, this set alone was like enough for me. Did you have nightmares when you go home? No, but I'd like walk into every room and then all of a sudden you end up alone and you're like, why am I alone? I was around like 400 <laughs> people like minutes ago. That is when you need your dog. That's that what you is need. exactly. That's when you need oh, your my dog. dog would have peaced out. She's like, see you later, mom. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not here. All right, so we play my first time here because there is a first time for everything. So this is true. We have a yes. rapid fire segment sure. and get ready for it. So here we go. Uh, the first person that you text this morning? My mom. Okay. Good your one. first dog? Uh, Lance. Lance Lott. Aww. Golden Retriever. Oh, yeah. Best dogs ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My first dog was a golden. Uh, first experience at Comic Con? Oh, fun. Like, really fun. Four, year, five, six years ago? San Diego? San Diego. Really fun. Yeah. Gets intense there. Was yeah. it during the whole Walking Dead mania too? I'm trying to, I think, zombies? honestly, I think it was such a blur because I was so new and I was just sort of like floating around. And I was with, I think I was with Colton at the time. I was definitely uh -huh. with Steven and my friend Jarrett. Yeah, I have some pictures from that. It was really awesome. fun. <laughs> okay, your first celebrity crush? Oh, Ashton Kutcher. Jackass! <laughs> <laughs> <Not that. laughs> no, that 70s show. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. I dated <laughs> myself. Uh, your first kiss? Um, on a front lawn. Your first date? In a movie theater to the movie Van Helsing. Hilarious. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was, wow. It was not <laughs> great. No, it's not. it was not. It was not. Uh, what's something you wish you could do for the first time over again? My first kiss and my first date. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's right. It's right there. It's right on the surface. <laughs> I love it. All right, so now, because you're a star on Arrow, we're going to play a game called Piercing Questions. This is how it's going to go. It's tournament style. So three rounds, and each round, we're each going to get a balloon, all right? Each balloon has the same question inside of it. We got to pierce these balloons with these lovely plastic spoons, guys. They <laughs> very strict on sharp Ooh. objects around Roxy. Okay. Uh, are we in prison? So, <laughs> yes, this is all we have. The balloons are right here. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make sure that one's okay. yours. And make sure this one's yours. Okay. And make sure this one's yours. All right. It's a good so, thing I've been practicing this on my spare time. Have you really? Okay. Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> the last person to pop their balloon has to answer the question that's inside of the balloon. And then I'm so competitive. I'm like, and then you're out of the game. Okay, you ready? Okay. Yep. So you can use your spoon any way that you want to. Ready, set, go, guys. Ooh. Oh, Kayla, Ooh. you got to answer it. <laughs> it's so scary. Guys. Okay, really here's the question. Yeah. <laughs> we play with sharp objects on our spoon. Um, yeah, that's what I kind of meant. <laughs> Wait, so I have to? Yep, you have to answer I'm answering it. this question? Yep, you were the last one to pop. Okay, what's the most diva like experience you've ever seen on set? Ooh. Um, it's most Diva Lake here. experience <laughs> I have ever seen on set was probably 
um, an actor that I was interviewing who refused to take off his sunglasses and coat mm. for the interview and told me in the middle of it that he didn't understand why he was doing this. You're contractually obligated to promote your film. Sir, I didn't care about a stupid film. <laughs> and he sat there and said, I don't really know why I'm doing this. So I said, would you like to leave? It was live. And he goes, yep. Ooh. And away he went. What well, film? At least you Not the actor, honest. what film? No idea what the film was. I'm sure it was terrible. Oh my gosh. We don't okay. even know who the human So, is. I think I beat you. I mean, I, I can check the tape back. Oh, okay, I'm out. Do it out. out oh, she's out. Oh, so, we're here. Oh, okay, we have to. Oh, oh, okay, we're fine. Bye. I'm out, fine. and I'm I'll ready go. to cheat, too, if I needed to. I brought in a safe. Oh, hand. boy. <laughs> okay, round two. <laughs> All right, All right. last two. person. Okay, ready? one, two, two three. three. I don't know. I don't know. You this have to be the judge. So easy. Pick a number between oh, one I'm and out, eight. So you gotta go. Okay, it was five. <laughs> no, they just, what they just said that it was. It's, what's oh, the, I have to answer the question. Yeah, you oh. have to answer the question. What's the crackly? Thing? Lucky that there's a control room in here. What crackly things? You hear that? Why is a balloon sparking? Oh, I don't is your know. balloon sparking? <laughs> you put in these balloons. <laughs> oh wait, nope. That was. It is crackly. Wait. It's right? the latex on the balloon. Okay. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've done for love? Go on. Oh, Make gosh. us cry. Make us cry with your words. Uh, no, no. I stayed. How about that? <laughs> I feel like we need a drink. <laughs> I stayed. That was the craziest thing I ever did. Oh, I've been there. I feel, like, I feel like we probably will get along really well off of this set. She understood exactly what that meant right when I said it. Too good, really. Uh, okay, round three. You got to be you. three seconds. Oh, is it, who is it? Yeah. Oh, but then I'm the only one who has Emily, to Yeah. You have only the mouth of the spoon you can use. You only got three seconds to pop it. Ready, set, go. Three. Oh! I almost stabbed myself. She got it. <laughs> <laughs> she does that. Dude. Okay. You don't have to answer, but you can if you want to. Okay, yeah, but you both can answer this one. How about oh, that? <clears throat> switch. The what interviewee is it? becomes the interviewer. <laughs> All right. Exception. What is your guiltiest pleasure? Wine. It's not a guilty. Thing. Yeah, it is the way I drink it. <laughs> Postmates. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but uh, but man, Emily really comes go. full circle. We got to chat back in on our Twitter poll right now, guys. Post Malone is the king of Postmates. He ordered $40,000 worth of items in one year, so we wanted to know <laughs> how often are our viewers ordering in. So we got 7% that said every single day. I'm in that one. 24% said only when you're hangry. 18% said when I'm Netflix and chilling. 51% of you guys are lying. I'd rather get it myself. Liar. Sure you'd rather get it yourself. <laughs> rather, but you don't. But you don't. You exactly. order Postmates. Exactly. Mm. Yay tweeted, I don't want to pay the delivery fee and a tip, so I'd rather <laughs> call in the order and go pick it up myself. Good. I'm usually three glasses of wine in at that point, so I cannot go pick it oh, up myself. They oh. got those days. Guilty pleasure into your guilty pleasure. Yep. Yeah. You guys are meant to be. Yeah. We are. All right, Emily. Can stay for that love. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> you got to give me a ramen recipe because I don't know what to order from ramen. I'm not going to make ramen. Not ramen. I'm not saying make it. I'm like to what to order. Oh, to order? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, there we go. I just right. can't do it from scratch for you. Guys, listen, <laughs> uh, We you got to check her out in Arrow. It's so much fun. Be sure you see season seven of Arrow Monday nights at 8, 7 central on CW. Caitlin, back tomorrow. I am. And we're hanging out. We're back live tomorrow with more stories and more of your reactions. And we've got actress Camilla Londington in studio to talk all about Grey's Anatomy. Oh, oh see, damn. your dad check in. Send in no. your questions for her using the hashtag chatter. Everyone have a tweet night.